everybody and welcome to Epcot. Great to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, hello everybody. Happy Sunday. And let me see here, we have BMCK sent us a $1.99 super sticker. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, BMCK. Guys, we are here today to catch uh, Rick Springfield live in concert. We're going to catch as many of his sets as we can. The first one begins in 12 minutes. We'll see if we can find a spot for that one. We'll head that way and see what everything looks like. Yeah. Great to see everyone. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Oh, we should have gone to the other scanners. Yeah, the annual pass holder ones lately seem to be very um, crazy. Do you want to go to the other side? Is that okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's much faster going through the other way. <laughs> mm -hmm. So welcome back to Epcot, everybody, for the International Flower and Garden Festival 2023. We need to cross the world in 10 minutes. Cross the world in 10 minutes? In 10 minutes. <laughs> Is that going to be a new record? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A beautiful spaceship Earth as always. Such a beautiful sight. <laughs> yes, Jenna. Uh, it's beautiful but packed. Perfect oh, yeah. words. Oh, this Jake says there's a run headed your way. Is uh -oh. there? We're in trouble. What park is he on? Is that his third? I'm not sure. Because Ron on the Go is doing a four-part challenge today. That is true. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Navy Seals. Hey, Jen. Hey, Marcello. No, we're going to be enjoying Epcot today. This Jake says yes, third. Third, gotcha. Well, good. He's making good time. Hey, Spectro. Hey, Epcot Don. Hey, Mike Wells. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Hey, Ted. Hey, hey Nathan. Nathan says rounds out the creation shop. Gotcha. Oh, Sapphire Boys also says Ron is in the creation shop. Is Ron shopping for merch? Right. Hey, Simba Disney. Hey, Hannah Anderson. Hey, Diz Jake. Hey, Todd. Hey, Mike. Oh, thank you so much, the gaming ham. Oh, Jen, for sure. Uh, Jen was asking, because her kiddo loves the Japan store, if we can go in it if possible. Yeah. We'll very much try our best, Jen. And yeah, it's right next to the America Pavilion, so that's perfect. Yep. Worst comes to worst, I stand in line and... Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something transport. out. Yeah. Hey, Jeffrey Horn. Hey, Debbie. Oh, yeah, yeah, So Bowser, the first set is in eight minutes. Hey, Theme Park Fanatic. Thank you so much, Theme Park Fanatic. Since it's a $5 super chat, where can I find a woman like that? <laughs> like Jessie's girl. Woohoo! Have a great time, Eric and Monica. Thank you so much, Theme Park Fanatic. Thank you, Theme Park Fanatic. Hey, Wayne. Hey, Wayne. 
mistake says he he said, see what Monica has done to me. <laughs> oh no. Tell him we're passing the creation shop if he wants to say hi. We've got a concert to catch. We've got an orange man. There's a strange an orange? orange man. Is it orange bird or orange man? Stranger danger. Don't talk to strangers, kids. Right on the go, everybody. They're heading off to the concert right now. What's the concert? It's uh, Rick Bruce Springfield. Rick Springfield. I said Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Springfield. Oh, yeah, Bruce. Oh. Springfield. oh. <laughs> Bruce Springfield right now. If you guys want to watch that? We're gonna walk around with them, and then uh, we're gonna head off to Hollywood, pretty much. I rode Pigman in Nemo. Oh yeah. Yeah, it wasn't great. Is, is today your, uh, I wouldn't ride that day? Or? No, no, that's Tuesday. That's Tuesday. That's okay. Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, man. You guys doing multiple concerts? Yeah. Okay. So they're going to do multiple concerts, everybody. But 530 is the first. Yeah, we've got seven minutes before that one begins. Oh, okay. uh, so we'll probably be standing uh, in line for the second, second one. one. Okay. Yeah. It's a gimbal off. It's a gimbal off. It's a jumble gimbal, I don't know. One of the uh A gimbalaya? Gimbalaya, there you gimbalaya. go. Gimbalaya. Yeah. Think my fanatic says hello Ron. So far around it. Oh there's a boat. But when it's working. It's also much slower than we are. But at the same time you very often like I don't know, I don't see the friendship boat that takes you across very often. No. Oh, the one, yeah, because right now it's still only the one going to here to the Yeah. We need the one that goes to Italy. Oh, that'd be great. Well, there, there's another launch right there. Yeah. That goes to Italy. Or if they just open it up all the way around. That would be Or if they just put one walkway directly across the no, World that, Showcase you know, again. That sounds like a smart idea, so it's not going to I mean, it would make sense. You're connecting America with America at that point. You're splitting up a lot of the uh, crowd around the World Showcase. It'd be a beautiful view. I don't know, because a lot of people just hug the left side. That's true. Like, as much as people love Paris and everything, Italy, Mexico, always live in here. That is true. So this is park number three for you? Yeah. You going to finish with Fantasmic tonight? Oh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Making good timing there, Ron. Well, we haven't been able to do a whole lot today. We've pretty much been knocking out, like, two things a park. I mean, that's doing pretty good. Tiki Room and Pirates. And then over at Animal, two hours. 70 minutes in line, and then almost took us on an hour to ride the Kilimanjaro Swan. Jeez. Because the animals were, the animals are super active today. Well, that's They're awesome. Everywhere, but, in the road. Were the lions out? They were, but they're sleeping. You know, they sleep 20 hours a day. Something like that. Yeah, some, so, I don't know. The lady we have was very, super informative, more than usual. <laughs> that corn always smells amazing. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. I just smell barbecue, like something burning. I'm like, yeah, mm. it's grilled corn. You know what we need right now? Uh, good sandwiches from Bucky's. <laughs> that sounds good. I was going to say margarita. The margarita stands right there. Oh. <laughs> Do they have a margarita without the alcohol? <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Well, they have, oh. Yeah, they have a bunch. They have a bunch of uh, alcohol-free margaritas. Yeah, they, they have. They have, oh. mock, they have mocktails. Well, mocktails, oh, yeah. Mocktail. Okay. But but margaritas? Oh, I don't know. Because then you just have like that sour bitterness without the. I don't know. I Is it had... sour? I don't even know what a margarita like. Again, no, yeah, you're good. Uh, tequila margarita. itself. Oh, Te yeah. Tequila has a sourness to it. My uh. wife is over there. She's like, "Can you buy nicer stuff next time?" <laughs> and I, was, I don't know what it tastes like, so don't tell me to buy nicer stuff. I don't know what. Else. She's like, "Buy nicer tequila." I'm like, "What?" Patron. Patron. Well, yeah, and that's what I did. I bought her Patron, and she's like, "This is too nice. Now oh. I drink it like water." <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway, the 22 is super hot. If you want to put your finger on the back of that, that's right. Cheers. Yeah. 23. Not yeah. By the way, no charging the whole time. That's how hot it gets. Goodness. That's why I said when you when you guys were on the like, I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the iPhone uh, didn't have too much of an issue with uh, with overheating, but instead we just couldn't keep the signal. So there's a lot of trade-offs. There are a lot of trade-offs. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? <laughs> it's gonna be a fun day. 
got three minutes. We got three minutes. Plenty of time. Oh my gosh, look at the line for the 645 no. right now. Maybe that's the 5.30. Nope. No, the 5.30 is already packed and full. Oh, yeah. There's no room even for standing in the... Uh... Zoom action thing to find out. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, that's literally just the 6.45 that's lined up right now. You think so? Yep. I think it's the 6.45 and the 8 that's lined up right now. I couldn't get into the 530. Well, there might be an end of the line where a cast member is saying no one can enter because they won't make it for even the 8 o'clock tonight. Oh, no. That would be scary. Are you guys going to party from the back? Like, <laughs> can, can you, are you allowed to party from the back? <laughs> well, worst comes to worst, uh, one of us will stand in line while the other one goes and does things. Like I mean, that is something nice you guys have. I do not have that problem. The divide and conquer method. Oh, man. It's kind of hot out here, Ron. Why weren't you talking about that earlier? Oh, no, because it wasn't. No, no, we heard you talking about it earlier. Oh, okay. Orders for ornaments, he gets a day. It's, yeah. Think about how many ornaments they already have in the store, and they're still getting orders day after day after day. Well, once everybody learned that they can get a custom order for the same price, why would you buy one that's now already the there? They're like a huge seller. They laid them like, Willie made two cups, and then a day later they had 25 orders. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Somebody said the Costco uh, tequila is really good. Yeah, Costco in general, their, uh, the general their alcohol selection, yeah. tends to be pretty good. It's all like Kirkland brand. Mm -hmm. their, uh, their rum. You get a 1.75 uh, yeah, liter handle for like $11, no. <laughs> and it's it's not bad. It, it's on par with Captain's, so I mean, Captain's $25 for a bottle. Bit of a difference there. But it says Kirkland. It does say Kirkland on it. <laughs> By the way, that's where my grandparents lived before they passed away. Up in Washington? Yeah. That's the Lily, they made their company. Kirkland brand is off based out of Kirkland, Washington. Well, I'd pass away too if my rum bottles came in 1.75 liter <laughs> handles for $11. It had a liquor room. It had a liquor room? The bedroom turned into a liquor room. Jeez. You would walk into the room and there would be a shelving unit in the middle like a liquor store. <laughs> what are we looking for today? Hmm. They were smart. They were smart? Yeah. Oh, it is cheaper than drinking around the world, I'll tell you that much. Exactly. You tell me drinking around the world is expensive. They've already started the concert a couple minutes early. Oh no. Just because it's it's very full. Is it 5 30 already? Oh yeah it is. Simon My watch Rogers. Is slow. Thank you so much for becoming a park hopper. Welcome in oh, Simon Rogers. We have a membership. I'm a part-time park hopper. <laughs> like today I park hopper. Ron's like an honorary park hopper over here. Honorary, Doing four yes. parks today, I'm guys. On the go today. Look at you guys. On the go. No, you didn't stop at all for anything. Oh man. Oh, the soaps, yeah. Oh, me too, though. Oh, do you? Yeah, we're at 2,000 kilobytes per second right now. I don't even know if... Uh, yeah, it's picking up again. The state okay. used to have a state liquor board where you had to buy it at 5 p.m. if you didn't buy it before 5 p.m. Or at least hard. Yeah, there he goes. Nope, it's back down. Huh. The problem with Thompson is I don't know, it looks pretty good over here. Everybody. So far it looks good. I think we'll be good for the 645. So far so good. Oh man. Hey, Christy Jane. See you later, Christy Jane. We'll see you later. I'm not hot at all. That breeze feels nice right now. Well, that cloud is about to move out of the way. It's going to be pure sun. Oh, yeah. Oh, why'd you say that, Ron? It could have just stayed right there. It would have been fine.
almost everything. Yeah, we're at perfect signal right now. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the stadium right now. Wi Fi? guys so Monica's gonna stand in line here oh, you can and uh, there's two of us gotcha. two people. half the party yes. yeah. well, thank you so much all right I was wondering why she picked up three fingers Goodness gracious. Did you guys get some drinks and stuff? Probably at some point we'll have to stop by the job here. It's uh, a bit convenient <laughs> thing right there. Really nice. Are you back here? No. No? Ron on the go is going to keep on going. He's going to go catch some rides and stuff. He's going to go over to Hollywood Studios tonight. He'll catch Fantasmic. We're going to stay here. We're going to do the concert. So uh, if you guys want to go do some other stuff, go along with Ron. He should be live. Uh, what time are you ending tonight? And then if you guys want to watch the show, Mark Hopper's got it. They're going to be in the spot. Sounds good. We're just going to go find me.
Bora cá. Is it? Okay. We'll do a refresh, guys. The signal's gonna be really bad over there in general. Yeah, it was just really, really, really trumpy. Yeah. There's just so many people here. All right, we're gonna res uh, reset, guys. We'll be right back. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, and Paul is saying I was out of sync. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... It just takes a while to get in there. Alright guys, we should be back. Sorry about that. Do you want to come here or are you going to back over there? Well, I was just going to ask you, do you want to go... Because uh, I can't get a good spot to show the concert at all. It's that bad? It's that bad. It's worse than Neil Patrick Harris was last year. Why don't you hop over here for the time being? I was just going to say... Uh, if you want to do anything else to get out of the heat, I can stand in line. I'm, I just needed the brolly. I get That's you. all I needed. All right. Oh. Gotcha. All right. So hey guys, we're the park hoppers. We're trying to figure out what to do. Because uh, we're currently in line for the 6.45 showing, which is in an hour and five minutes. Uh, it's really not possible to show you guys the concert right now with the crowd there. You can hear it, but uh, that's that's the best we're going to be able to do right now. Uh, do you want to go do something, honey, or do you want to stand in line? Either way is fine. Because if you want to do the... Uh, Japanese store now is a great time. That's true. Well, thank you so much, Moines. Yeah, this is the uh, Festival of Flower and Garden Bucket Hack. It has like pigment and it's uh, reversible too, which is pretty cool. Well, thank you so much, Marty M. Um, yeah, that's crazy how packed the 530 got. So, I mean, already the 645 line is pretty crazy. Yeah, the standing room only sections inside of the, like they're. They're beyond capacity. They're gonna start clearing people out for fire hazard issues. I don't think so. They're not letting people stand over there very much. Oh, people yeah. were being told to keep moving. Uh, Sector says we saw Rick Sprinkle in concert a long time ago when he could still fill an arena. My sister-in-law was in love with him. Yeah, many folks are in love with him. He was also in a soap opera, so, yeah. you know, that's a thing. Somebody better stay in line. Yeah. Definitely, Marty M, for sure. Yeah, the line's already pretty long, and we're still an hour out from the concert, the second one. Yeah. Marcello's like frozen coffee break. It sounds really good right now. <laughs> yeah, but we want to show you guys some fun stuff here at Epcot. Um, well, for one, the stage of break from here looks pretty cool. I'll show that here in just a moment. Like this general direction, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's like right on top of us, a little bit uh, uh, to the... Hmm? It should be a little bit to the west, so yeah, a little bit that direction. Gotcha. Just trying to figure out where the sun's coming from, guys. Uh, shift it? manager is asking, are we doing Epcot Forever tonight? Uh, what time is Epcot Forever at? So, Epcot Forever is at 9 o'clock. Uh, so, we should probably do something. Uh, so guys, we'll at least be hanging out here. Uh, one of us will be. Yeah, one uh, of us will definitely be in the line. For and then the other one's going to take the camera somewhere. Yeah. Uh, this is the only chance that we're going to have where we're not connected to the backpack to charge. Okay. Oh, uh, Simon Rogers used the uh, bucket hat emojis. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Simon. So, would you like to take them to the Japanese store? I mean, yeah, I totally can. Do you guys want to go check out the Japanese store? Is Jen still here? <laughs> oh, 9 p.m. is Epcot forever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, then, uh... I'll stand here with the Okay. Oh, Jen is still here. Okay. 
Okay, awesome. Alright guys, so we're going to get ready to head over to the Japanese store and have fun and check out all the merch over there. Sounds good. We're not too far away from it either, so that's pretty good. Oh, Sarah Roger says he was like a hundred on fire saying thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Hey Kyle, does Epcot normally host famous singers for concerts? Yeah. Yes, Kyle. Um, during the festivals, um, which are kind of like all the time now, there's always some sort of concert or something going on, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, Music Panda. Hey, Kevin Coda. Just got to Epcot. Awesome. Oh, hey, Kevin. Well, we're standing in line for the 645. Yeah. Uh, Monica's about to take everyone down to the Japan store. Uh, so when you get here, just you know, come on in and join us. Well, thank you so much, Beach Listen Disney. Thanks, Jen. Alright, guys, we're gonna head over to the Japan store and check that out. Um, let's turn the camera around. Yeah, sounds good. So that I can show everything as I'm heading out. And I'll leave you with the brawly. Okay. Thank you. You have your phone, right? Yeah, I have my phone. Okay, I'm gonna uh, close this up. If you put your phone in, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it if you could. Uh... You want me to hang on to your phone? No. Okay. I was just gonna put it in my pocket. Gotcha. Oh, wrong pocket. Uh, uh, what time do I have to get back? Oh, just put in chat when I have to get back, okay? You have to get back uh, by 6, uh, 15, 6, 20 probably. Alright. That's probably when they'll start letting people in. Alright, sounds good. Let's go check out merch, guys. It's uh, Rick Springfield tonight. He'll be performing three sets. He has theme park fanatic, Mr. Kushi Time. Love, absolutely love the Japanese store. Wow, that's busy in there. Hopefully, we keep signal through here. Oh, yeah, Jesse's girl. I'm sure we'll hear that. That's a little tough to get through here right now. You can wait here because you'll have a uh, special seats and food, which is pretty cool. And that's a special ticketed option. Oh, thank you so much, Jen. All right, guys, welcome to Japan. We made it. Oh, Kenneth, <laughs> I do love that backpack. Not sure why, not today though, because um, right now we're just gonna get in there and show you guys the store and all the cool merch that there is. <laughs> Cast members are all excited about the concert as well. That's so cool. And guys, if you're enjoying the stream and haven't already, if you kindly hit that like button for us, that really helps us out. How much can a lounge fly hold? A lot. <laughs> um, that's what I'm cur I currently have on is my uh, lounge fly backpack. And it's the Halloween one from Disney Parks last year. And it actually fits a lot. It's a lot larger than the regular lounge flies. All right, so welcome to Mitsukushi, everybody. 
it's a little busy, but not too bad. Let's go check out over here first. Let me turn off my fan so I have an extra hand to show you guys all the cool things. Sorry about the little wobble. Oh, and right here, by the way, I don't know if they're still doing it, where it says Kawaii Zilla. Um, back in the day, at least, they used to have, a, well, kind of recently, the little Daisy Duck robot that pops up like right there. Pretty cool. All right, let's see merch. So, we got all the Kirby stuff. Oh, wow, look at how, there's not many bucket hats left. Like four of them? That's crazy. These are $32.95. Absolutely love this Kirby bucket hat. And then there's the Kirby. Oh, this. Oh, I like this baseball. Oh, this one's really cool. How much is this? $22.95. Not bad. That's really cute. I don't know if I would want the baseball cap or the bucket hat. Maybe I would need both. I don't know. Music Panda, look, it's Animal Crossing Tash. Yes, I'm going to check those out in just a moment, guys. Another Kirby backpack up there. That's really cool. Yeah, pretty standard price for a hop, especially here at Disney. So you got a bunch of Kirby merch, Kirby crossbody, Kirby backpack. Oh, the backpack's pretty cool. <laughs> Jen's like, get both a little. Yeah, the hat, I love both the baseball cap and the bucket hat. And like the colors are so cute. And Kirby's expressions like, what? That's too awesome. Oh, this one's that Bio World. So it's should be a little bit more comfy. That one's $22.95. I like that a lot. All right, and then they also have Kirby shirts and a hoodie. That's cool. Is this an Animal Crossing backpack? What is this? It is $29.95 from BioWorld. Oh, it's an insulated lunchbox. I kind of love that right now. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea, Morgs, to match with Eric, get the hat for him and then the, the um, bucket hat for me. That's a good idea. I like this lunchbox. I wonder where it belongs because I just found it randomly here. Oh, so much cute Kirby things. What? Oh, that's so cute. How much is this? This is $24. How cute is that, guys? It's so plushy. Oh, no. Eric's smart. He doesn't leave me with the visa when I go to Mitsukoshi. That would be a bad a thing. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, how much is this? I'm not sure. Let's find the price. Pick it up. Pick up on the It is. Oh wow. Okay. Thirty-eight dollars. But you get a bunch of little bags. That's pretty cool. And it's really cute. Hey, come here. I like that. What else? Look at this Kirby backpack. If I can grab it. How much is a bio world makes a lot of the merch here, I'm noticing. This is oh eighty dollars. That's a pricey one. Maybe it's like the lounge fly version. That's really cool. Alright, here's some Animal Crossing plushies. What do we got here? KK slider. Twenty-four dollars. Let's see. Tom Nook is probably also $24. Where's the price? I'm not sure. Let me see if I can find this one. <laughs> Theme Park Fanatic. Same here. Oh, here's the price for this one. Yeah. Tom Nook is also, yeah, so they're all $24, these little plushies. They're kind of small, but really cute. Hey, Jenny Reed. Oh, and you're. I'll definitely check this store out when I'm here in September. That's awesome. Yeah, this store is really cool. And there's like the pick a pearl, which is really fun. Isabel. So cute. What else? Some fun Kirby stuff. Oh, this is a funny keychain. <laughs> like, what? That's hilarious. How much? It is 15. Let's check out some more Animal Crossing merch over here. Oh, Theme Park Connect, you're be here in September as well. That's awesome. And guys, if you see us in the parks, please feel free to say hi. Let's see what we have here. We have a journal for 15 bucks. That's really nice. Mario, you don't know what it is. Oh, and then there's a mug. It's, is it color changing? Oh, yeah, for the temperature. $18. Oh, 
<laughs> That's real nice. All right, seventeen dollars. We got these. That's cool. Are these mystery things? I love mystery things. Let's see, Theme Park Fanatic. I'm gonna be in town for three days. Get some information for my travel clients. Very cool. These cost eight dollars. And I wonder, who do you get when you? It doesn't show on the sides who you might get. Oh, oh here they are. It's really small, guys. Alright, really focus. There you go. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Jenny. All right, let's see what else we got. Move along. You got some Super Mario. Oh, the same thing, like the mystery thing. So it's like eight dollars. And this one has Yoshi yellow, green, and pink, I believe. And then you have a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, coasters with fun facts. All about that. <laughs> yes, Theme Park Fanatic, I love Mario as well. This is 13 bucks, that's not bad. These are really cool coasters. Jigsaw. The Super Mario movie was actually better than I was expecting. Oh wow, I haven't, we haven't seen it yet. Nintendo remote bottle. How much is that? $28. Pretty cool. And let's check out these plushies over here. We got KK Slider for $50. I think this is from Demon Slayer. Uh, $50 as well. So those are pretty fun. Oh, lots and lots of Animal Crossing pillows up there. Those are cool. And then there's a bunch of Pokemon, Clip and Go, and Battle Figure Packs. Those are pretty cool. What is this guy? Oh, this is a Sanrio. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think somebody just left him here. $32. He's cute. Uh, what is this one? I'm not seeing. Right. Is it also from Demon Slayer? I'm not sure. That one is 40. Got some more Mario Kart plushes with a turtle shell. Alright, let's go see what else they have here to explore, guys. Oh, here's some of the Sanrio. Awesome. Good Atama doing a workout. That one runs 17 bucks. About 10 minutes. Okay, thank you so much. All right, when you give me a five minute uh, heads up, I will head that way because I think that would that would be good, right? The chapel. So cute. Oh, they're doing the pearls. Let's go see if we can see catch some of that. I love this rainbow llama. What? How much are you? Sixty dollars. Oh, so cute. Yes, Jen, there's so many cute things in here. Like, look at that little dinosaur on the wall. Like, what? Fun erasers. Look at all this Pokemon stuff here. That's cool. Got backpack, the hats, the onesies. <gasps> there's Pikachu in the middle. What? We got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, Pokemon. And all these run $25. There's Bulbasaur. So fun. Here's Squirtle. Here's Charmander. That's pretty cool. And Pikachu. And large Pikachu. <laughs> Pika Pika, yes. Yeah, it's $60 for the llama, but like, it is really cute. Uh, let's go over here and check out if we can see some of the pearls happening. I 
been such a cool experience. All right, guys, let's head out of here. Bunch more Sanya plushies. These are fun. Oh, named Tario. I'm so sorry if I did not say that correctly. From Brazil. Thank you so much for being here. All right, guys, so we're gonna head out of the store and go back. Yes, heading back right now. Thank you. This is the Japanese pavilion here at Epcot, every guy, everybody trying to put on my glasses because it is sunny. And I would like to see where we're going. <laughs> Love this view here of Spaceship Earth. So cool. Oh yeah, of course, Jen. Our pleasure. Oh wow, you can definitely tell that concert just let out because holy moly. All right, that's a power walk now because don't want to miss getting in there. Holy macaroni. All righty. We're on our way to the concert, guys, for Rick Springfield. Just trying to bob and weave through the crowds, which there is a lot of. <laughs> yeah, so many people. Oh, no worries, not material. Um, I don't know Portuguese, so I'm very sorry. I do know Spanish. Um, time to use Magic Monica Poppins, yes. Marcello, I'm working on getting there. We're gonna get in line, guys. Power walking. Power walking. Okay. People just be ready for lots of people just to stop in front of you. <laughs> And lots of bobbing and weaving. Always fun. Hey James. Hey Aaron. Disney fan for life. Great to see you guys. Welcome in all ninja watchers as well. Thank you guys for being here. Gonna find where Eric is in line now and meet back up with him. Hey Crazy Crew Adventures. <laughs> Bye, not material. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. All right, so I just gotta make it back to him somehow, some way. Huh, this will be fun. Let me not fall. Oh, excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, thank you. Okay, almost there. Excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, thank you. Hello. I made it. Good job. They Thanks. Were saying, uh, if your party's not here by 6.05 or 6.10, oh, yeah? uh, that they wouldn't be able to join you. I made it with plenty of time to you spare. Did. You did plenty a great job. of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yorkshire, Simon, welcome in. Hey, Rachel's Adventures. Yeah, I mean, we got here really early, so we should be able to get a good spot, guys. Yeah. Oh. How's the. Uh, the store? Like store yeah. uh, kind of crazy. I mean, mostly it was really crazy getting back here because yeah. uh, the crowds that let out of the concert were kind of insane. They were. Can you, you hold the hold on to the gimbal? Hold on yeah. to the gimbal or the phone? Yeah, the phone as well. Sure. Welcome back, Megan G. Great to see you. I need you to push against it. Thank you. Chen says, "Woo, made it." Charging. Check your charger, please. Oh, 
Okay, is that okay? And then maybe unplug and replug and I'll hold the umbrella. Okay. Let's try it again. Rachel says, is there a way you can stream We the Kings in September? They're pop rock music. Oh, it just depends uh, what's going on in September. <laughs> yeah. Are they going to be at Epcot? Because we typically stream the concerts here at Epcot. Yeah. Hey, John. John says, hey, Mark and Eric, watch, watching in my car behind the Magic Kingdom waiting for my son to get off work at MK. Awesome. That's awesome, John. And thank you to your son for making the magic. Thanks so much. Hopefully he's had an awesome day. Oh, yes, wonderful news about your grandmother, Megan. <laughs> oh, that is it, definitely relieving. It is so... It is. It's very hot. <laughs> what time are they going to start letting folks into the uh, theater? I don't know. I assumed it was going to be about 6.10 at the latest since they were saying they, people want to be able to join you at that what point. What time are they cutting off the line at then? That I don't know. Oh, but I mean, like, they're not letting folks get back in the line uh, starting now, right? Right. Okay. Like to join their parties and such. At least they're not supposed to. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, regardless, guys, thank you so much for being here. We're about to get ready for the 645 showing of Rick Springfield here in Epcot. We're going to get the best spot we possibly can. It looks like it's a standing concert. So won't be much sitting once we get in there. Everybody was uh, on their feet, very much so. So. But I mean, where is the? I mean, I think we should be able to get a seat. Oh, we'll definitely get a seat. I just, I'm saying it's a standing concert. Oh, it's November third and fourth, says Rachel. Um, Rachel, is it going to be here at Epcot? Hey, Jane Jarvis. Hey, Jane. And that's awesome, Jim. My wife had her birthday at Disney. That's fantastic. Hopefully she had a wonderful birthday celebration. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, Rachel, if you wanted to send us a DM and a reminder when they're playing, when it gets closer to the time, just so we don't, like, forget or anything. Right. It feels like a hundred degrees out here. It feels very hot. Oh boy. Let's see something. They should be letting us in in just a couple more minutes. They're just going to make sure that the uh, whole area is clean before we do. Uh, they do a really quick sweep. They do a really good job of it. Oh, I don't have IG or TikTok. Oh, no worries, Rachel. Okay, just um, on our live stream, when it gets closer to the time, if you'll just be like, hey, remember that concert? <laughs> um, and just uh, give us a reminder on the live stream. That would be awesome. Absolutely. I think I've seen We The Kings before. Have you, the, seen, have you seen We The Kings before? Is it the group that I'm picking up where uh, one of the main, there's two main singers, they're brothers. One of them uh, plays the big uh, bass drum quite a bit during some of their songs. That's uh, for King & Country. That's for King & Country. I'm so sorry. Which one's We The Kings? I'm not 100%. Goodness. I'm going to have to look them up. Charlie Orlando says, did you bring your lightsabers? No, he said, did you bring your lighters for, oh. the, uh, for the concert? Oh, for the concert. I get it. Yes. Um, no. I don't I think don't Disney think, would let us in with the lighters. Yeah, Disney, I don't think, approves of that. Granted, wait. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, Rachel says it's a pop band. Oh, we'll definitely have to take a listen to them and check them out. But yeah, if it's in November, just give us a reminder whether it's in a live stream or in a comment of the live stream when it's uh, closer. Oh, We the Kings is Chuck Yes Juliet, right? So I did see We the Kings. Uh, I saw them back in 2012. Yeah, they were pretty good. Hey, Dark Horse Painting, hey, Zori. Oh, yeah, that's what Rachel was saying. They sing the song, Check Yes, Juliet is their most popular. Yeah, we for sure know that band. They're so good. <laughs> Megan says we're having a random heat wave. It's 87 today, and Wednesday it's going to be 90. Wow. 
stay safe and stay cool, guys. What is it here right now? It's oh, that's it's 87 here right now. Gotcha. Gen 302 says you don't use lighters anymore. You use your cell phone light. That is true. That we have seen that um, often. Well, thank you so much, Marty M. Yeah, if you guys um, are interested at all in any of those things, we do have all the um, information down below in the description. Certainly do. Theme Park Fanatic says cell phone lights are so big at concerts. Went to see Journey and Toto last month, and the venue was filled with cell phone lights. That's really cool. That and Journey and Toto, that's awesome. How were they live? I don't think I'm blocking this end very good for us. I don't know where I'm blocking this end, but I ain't opening up us. <laughs> Can you um, kindly put my fan in my backpack? Yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the gimbal? Oh, uh, sure. The okay. Uh, give me one second. All right, got it. Uh, Jen 302 uh, says Toto is great. They came to Fort Myers, Florida a few years ago. That's really cool. Theme Park Fanatic's like, well, Journey's 50th. That's really cool. <laughs> now, if only to figure out where the sun is coming from. No? It's coming from that direction. <laughs> Let's see, what time is it now? 6 11? So, this is uh, 6 All right, 10. They was are, the cutoff, they are right? starting to move people to the ropes. <laughs> but it looks like they might be postponed by the, uh, the dining package on the other side. Yeah, there was a lot of folks uh, for the dining package here as well. Rachel's Adventures wants to know, do you wish they offered a meet and greet with these artists? Um, that would be cool, but I mean, they would probably charge for that. So it might be a little pricey if they do offer that. That is fair. A lot of these artists, uh, when they're done with their three sets, they'll come out and say hello to people. Uh, I really doubt that Rick Springfield would, but uh, sometimes some of the smaller ones will. Yeah, some of them do. It just depends on um, how much they like to interact with their fans and all that good stuff. True. Um, there's still many people join the line and it's after 6.10. That's just where I was told by the cast member. Well, is that cast member, like, where, what are they even doing right now? I don't know. I'm assuming that's the time that they would stop letting you, uh, letting you join from the back of the line and make your way forward? Uh, I don't know. Clearly that's not the case. <laughs> so up to he's like, rush the stage hoppers. Hey Lewis! Thank you. Always a great day at Disney with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hey Dell Whip Dave! Hey Dwayne! Alright, they are almost done that again. The dining package over there. Once that finishes, then they'll let uh, the standby over here in. And um, the concert's all part of your park admission. Unless you want the dining plan, which is, of course, then an extra charge. Yeah, the dining package uh, costs something like 50 or $60, I think. Wow, there were a lot of dining package people for this round. There really was. It was such a mission just to get back to you. I was like, power walk, power walk. I was trying, I was trying to encourage myself to walk faster to make sure I got here in time. I'm <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, and I assume like the folks that aren't going to make it into this concert are just going to be waiting in line for the uh, final set. Yep. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's definitely the dining package that's being let into the stadium at the moment. Yep. That's all those heads that are moving over there. Yeah, and possibly um, some VIP folks. How big is the dining package section? It depends. They um, they change it depending on how many tickets are sold. Right, let's send back out, guys. Aaron, Disney fan for life. We currently don't have a uh, Facebook. Not at the moment. But we do have, um, obviously, we have YouTube. <laughs> Uh, we also have Instagram and TikTok. And we technically have a Twitter, but we don't use it. Oh, Hannah Anderson says Rick Springfield, aka Noah Drake. Oh yeah, Noah Drake was his name on um, the soap opera. Is 73 and still rocking the music like a box. <laughs> Theme park fanatics like 73. Wow, he's aged well. I'm just hoping we we hear some of his hits, you know. Hey, Big Al. Yes, Crispy, General Hospital. Yep, yep. They are still letting in dining package. It's uh, well beyond that front section. They're taking uh, some of the main seating in the uh, stadium as well. Interesting. It is? Like, I don't know how many dining packages they sold. But that surely seems like a lot. It certainly does. And then I think you, I think like there's the dining package coming in and just VIP folks. Hey, John Serfum. So do you find Jesse's girl? Not yet. We're about to though. Soon, I hope, because like we're looking at 6:17. The concert starts at what? What time does the concert start at? 6:45. Yeah, they should be letting us in soon. I hope. I think a gentleman in line ahead of us just uh, passed out. Oh no! From all the heat, I'm sure it's yeah. very, very hot. The heat is something not to mess around with, for sure. All right, the cast members are rushing over to take care of them. Yeah, cast members are there and taking care of the situation. Hey, Andrew. Uh, this is Epcot. We're in line for the Rick Springfield concert here for the Flower and Garden, Garden Rocks. All right, they're letting everybody in. Oh, it wasn't a gentleman. No, can you hold my phone so you yep. close the umbrella? Sounds good. Thanks. All right, guys, let's go find a spot for the concert. Hey, Frame Dreams, Lewis and Sylvia. Good to see you guys. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Sylvia. Oh, Theme Park Fanatic says, I thought it was a Brawly. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Brawly, yes, Theme Park Fanatic, it is a Brawly. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Hey, Chris, the Disney Baker. Hey, Chris. Oh, you guys are back towards the back of the line in Germany? Oh, they're in the in line at Germany. All right, we'll hope to uh, see you guys in there. All right, guys, we'll see what kind of a spot we can find. Oh, Kevin Coda, enjoy. 
enjoy Finding Nemo. Absolutely, Kevin. It'll be a lot cooler and more comfortable there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Nancy, how are you? All right, guys, we're making our way into the stadium now. Oh, it's past Germany, the line. Holy moly. Yeah, this is where to be, right? <laughs> Even with the, with the, uh, with the, I have to say brawly or I'm gonna get in trouble. Even with the brawly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you can't figure out where this one's coming from, it's still hitting you. Exactly. <laughs> I almost said the other one. You did almost say. I you did say parasol. Parasol. I can say parasol. Do you think Chrissy Jane will be okay with I that? I think she'd be okay with that. <laughs> but I'm just now. It does feel so much. It does. How are you doing, Dave? Good. The photo bomber. The photo bomber. It's Dave, guys. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, guys. Let's find a seat for the concert. Yeah, definitely. Let's try for that. Okay. Thank you, Simon. Simon Parasol is confirmed as an okay replacement. All right, let's go for the next row up, maybe. Yeah. Oh no, no. Okay, it's roped off. All right, okay. this one. Oh, my God. He's gonna be right there. I don't know. He's already filling up in the middle. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, wake me up before you go. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. Thank you. Let me get around the table. Oh, no, look what I did, guys. So sorry. That was my, yeah, everything's okay. Sorry, that was my fault, everybody. Oh, uh, I'm missing some comments here. Jonathan Knight says, enjoy the show. We have dinner reservations. Enjoy dinner, Jonathan. Hey, Movie Mania Nick. Yes, Rick Springfield is the concert we are here for, guys. Disney Baker says, four concerts, four weeks. Orchestra, Casting Crowns, M80s, now Rick Springfield. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Kenneth, yes, this is the venue for the concerts here for the festivals. Um, it's a pretty good size overall, especially because, it, you know, you don't have to pay extra or anything unless you are purchasing the dining package. Charlie Orlando says, Rick Springfield's second largest hit was I've Done Everything For You, reached number two on the Billboard Top 100. This, the song was written by Springfield and Sammy Hager. Very cool. Thank you for that, Charlie Orlando. JB United, great to see you. Manchester United 2-1, Fulham, Manchester. Derby, final of the Cup, June 3rd. Well, I hope that your team does well. Hey, Curtis family, how are you? Hey, Ray Toth. This Jake, um, we are very well familiarized with uh, Rick Springfield. <laughs> I mean, he's an amazing musician. Great songs, you know? Hey, love hug. Hey, Ray Jean. Great to see you guys. Thank you for being here. And if you're just coming in, if you would kindly hit that like button for us. It really helps us out a lot, guys. Theo Sam Eagle, great to see you. Theo says, thanks for taking us to the show. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Yes, 
Montana, we love a lot of music, not just classic, um, a lot of music, really. Thank you so much, Stanley, really appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Regine. All right, guys, the concert will be happening shortly. Go ahead and do the transfer. Oh yeah, Nancy. Okay, that's not an issue. Yes. Thank you. ready for Rick Springfield. His next concert begins in 18 minutes at 6.45 p.m. EDT. Uh, welcome in everybody. It's good to see you all. Of course, once the concert starts, we'll be quiet. You guys can just enjoy the concert for everything that it is. Uh, we'll do everything we can to keep the signal, to uh, show everything as clearly as possible. It could be a little difficult to keep the signal today, so uh, just let us know if uh, we have any issues in chat. Just go ahead and say, uh, that we're live in the bed or something, let us know and we'll do what we can to uh, reset that signal and bring it back. Shannon Blankenship says, hey everyone, sorry I'm late, been getting yelled at by my sister for paying two brand new cars at the same time. She called me a stupid. Well, Shannon, how else are you going to do brand new car jousting without two? You have to have two to joust. For car jousting? For car jousting. Good to see you, Shannon. Welcome Good to in. see you, Shannon. Has uh, Chris the Disney Baker made it into the uh, theater yet? I was just asking him in chat. Gotcha. Hey, Jalissa. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're drag racing. We're drag racing, that's true. Within the safety of your own property, never on public roads or anything. Simon Rogers says, hey, Shannon, you could always pass one of the cars to me. I mean, but like, it's your sister. Do you know what good sisters do? So let's see, it is 6.28, concert starts at 6.45. I'm so glad that we got here when we did to get in line for this concert. Yep. It's, I mean, if, um, oh, thank you so much, Jane. Like the hat, I'm not sure if it's yours or mine. But thank you so much, I like both of our hats. Thank you, everyone, for such a warm welcome. This is like the best channel ever. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Marnia. This uh, channel is, is made what it is by the people who are a part of it. So thank you, everybody who chats and chat, who ninja watches. Thank you to the moderators, you guys. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. We sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, Simon Rogers was saying, not here till October. Yeah. I remember Simon's coming with uh, Chrissy Jane and Michael in October. Is Mark uh, Mark coming in in October as well? Uh, let's see. 
because Shannon says Simon and the car payment. Jane said both hats. Oh, thank you, Jane. Ray says, I did see a New York Orlando that they came to my town. That's very cool. Really Tony cool. Orlando. Tony oh, Orlando. okay, gotcha. That's awesome. Oh, Simon says, and it's not a gift, Shannon. That is fair. Shannon says, oh, I miss my intro. Hey, my back of cheeky little monkeys. How's everybody doing? We're doing well, Shannon. We hope you're doing well as well. Hope you're doing good as well. Uh, these cheeky little monkeys are having trouble speaking. The sun is really hot. Uh, theme Park Fanatic says, if you're all in Empot when I'm here in September, I'm sure you're going to say hi. That's awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. Please do. Simon says, Mark, Paris, and sister, and brother-in-law. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Very close. Let's see. Hey, Park Hoppers, we see you. You just saw Rod on the go. That's awesome. Hey, Destination uh, Disney TV. Great to see you. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the concert. Wait, but Ronald left already, didn't he? He might have still been in Epcot doing his thing here before he makes his way over to Oh, Denver. okay. Chris said we're in. Oh, you're in? Awesome. Enjoy the concert, guys. Hope you guys get a good spot. It's pretty busy back there. It's kind of really crazy. Let's see. Oh, I'm kind of saying something. Hannah said, you two are very nice to your subs. It goes a long way in wanting to be here and support your channel. Thank you so much, Hannah. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. Thank you. He's in Hollywood Studios now. So it's okay. Yeah, he's making great time. He is. He's already in his fourth park. That means he's completed the four, day, uh, four park challenge. He's going to do probably two or three rides. Hopefully he'll do more than that. It's only 6.30. He's got plenty of time. It's all fantastic. Okay, so let's take a look at this real quick. Let's see, uh, let me go down. Shannon was saying, well, I'm as well as I can be, or at least as well as you, and as well as everyone else. I guess we're all well. Well, I think, right? yeah, I guess so. Let's make sure. Alright, Grasshopper's wife says, little Grasshopper. Oh, hello, hello little Grasshopper. Wife, hello, Grasshopper. Hello, little Grasshopper. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Absolutely. Theo Samigo says, be there in four days. Gonna keep an eye out for you. That's awesome, Theo Samigo. Hope to see ya. That is, that is very much patriotic. Thank you, Theo. I see Kevin says, on my way. Alrighty. Good luck, Kevin. Good luck. We hope to make it in. If not, you'll probably be able to make it in line for the last set. That is true. Oh, hello, Jose Chair. It says, hola, Park Hoppers. Feliz Domingo. Feliz Domingo, Jose Chair. Feliz Domingo, Jose Chair. Como esta usted y la familia? Ruth B says, hey, guys, just watching NASCAR, but it's on a rain delay. Then try to watch your uh, North... New Zealand family? Uh, your New Zealand family, but their sound wasn't working. Interesting. Oh, not sure who that is, but our family's run on the go. I don't think he's from New Zealand. Uh, Chris, the Disney Maker, what, we are in row one, two, three, four, we're like... We're the fifth row? We're the last row in the front section in the right-hand side. Yep. Yes. Ronald says, hi, from Holland. Well, hello, Ronald. Uh, hello, Ronald. <laughs> did you mix the words? I did. Hello, Ronald. Thank you so much for being here from Holland. It's so cool. Since I haven't thought about Brick Springfield in years. This should be fun. Thanks for being this long. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, guys. Theme Park Fanatic says, Is Mickey's not so scary Halloween party pretty fun considering popping over to there after I spent the day at Epcot? Um, well, we haven't been to the Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Last year we went to Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Right. But everything that we were able to tell, um, the Halloween party was better. 
it, yeah. I mean, so, like. And we had a lot of fun at the uh, Christmas party. We did so, have a lot of fun at the Christmas party. It seems like it's very much worth it. Yeah, like if we could, we would definitely go to both. But uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen this year. But it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, Christmas Day, uh, did you see the line was already forming for the next show? I have it. Yeah, it's already where we were. I'm like, should you just enjoy this show and I go in line? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's a thought. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Theme Park Fanatic says we're going to Halloween Horror Nights, but the day I wanted to, it wasn't going on. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, we haven't been to Halloween Horror Nights either. That looks like a fun place to go to, though, as well. Definitely not for the kiddos. Welcome to the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. In just 10 minutes, the America Garden Theater will proudly present the Garden Rock Concert Series featuring Rick Springfield. Yeah, 10 minutes, guys. Yeah. Get ready to walk out in just 10 minutes. Thanks so it's much crazy. for hitting that like button first. We appreciate it. Chris like says, 137, thank you. Chris says his better half is with him. It's date night. That's an awesome date night, Chris. Enjoy Rick Springfield, guys. And if you want to say hi, please feel more than welcome to. Absolutely. Uh, Shannon says, I like Rick Springfield because he has an extensive and rare collection of Star Wars action figures and collectibles. Makes him awesome to me. That's really neat. I didn't know that. That's nice to me too. Three strands, Walt Disney World. It's great to see you. Good evening. Anyone remember Rick Springfield on General Hospital 30 plus? Was it 30 plus years ago? But like he's been on there for a while. Is he still like... 1993 was now 30 years ago. But is he still on General Hospital? Is he still? No. So it looks like his uh, first appearance was in 1981, March 25th, 1981. Wow. He was on until 1983, then he came back in 2005 until 2008, and then again from 2012 to 2013. So 2013 was the last time he was on General Hospital. Yep. Alright guys, we have like about three minutes to the, well no wait, 6.45 right? But they started early, the last set, and I'm like already they seeing did people start a little on bit stage. Early. Yeah. Like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna start early. So guys, right before the concert starts, just wanna go ahead and do this. We are the park coppers for Eric and Monica. We go live to the parks all the time now. If you'd like to be a part of that in the future, guys, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you uh, here with us again. Uh, the concert's gonna be starting real soon. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. And let's enjoy the concert, everybody. Thank you, guys. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out so much. So thank you so much, everybody. Oh, and Keisha says he was in California Vacation. Very cool. And Shannon says, I can't be on the stream anymore because Rick told me not to talk to strangers. Baby, don't you talk. That's a good one, Shannon. Guys, the concert's gonna start really soon. He's got a lot of stage hands getting everything ready right now. All right, guys, let's turn it around so you can see what we see. Yeah, David, it can be kind of stressful sometimes. Well, yeah, especially if you're saving a spot for someone, which I don't really get how that really works with this concert, but you know. As long as everybody gets to have a good time, that's what's important. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, Chris. And she's Shannon.
Sounds good, Marcello. We'll catch you later. It's certainly a possibility, Shannon. Uh, we had Blue Oyster Cult here not long ago.
soon the guys come in and I'm like, oh, wait a minute.
Already. Still zoomed in, let's zoom out a bit more. There we go. That's better. Let's see what we can find, guys. Monica's running up ahead. This is Monica's way of saying we're totally going to come for the eighth sh or the uh, last showing here at eight o'clock. In fact, she's going to run up ahead and find a spot. All right, let's see if I can go find uh, Monica here. All right, line's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh. Well, good job, honey. They should have put a rope here. Yeah. So, hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm just trying to figure out this line situation. Yeah. They're making it a little bit confusing for folks if it gets a little too crazy, you know? A little bit. Not too bad, though. So we hope you guys enjoyed that uh, that second set there at 6:45. Uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. This time, if we uh, find a spot that's not right up front, let's try to hug the left side a little bit, just so that uh, we're not fighting the sun to see. Wait, would the would the sun be more towards the left side? The sun's going to be more towards the left side, yeah. <laughs> so if we're looking from the left side, we're going to have the sun more behind us, and we'll be able to see him a little bit better. Maybe in the middle. Yeah, like in the middle, or just on the left side a little bit. Yeah. So hey guys, uh, we are the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go left in the parks all the time now. Uh, we are standing in line at 7.16. The last show is at 8 o'clock. And yeah, we're in line for it already. Hey, Kevin, come on. Are you guys in line to watch me again? Yeah. You want to join us? We get that. Yeah, I, gotta, I feel like I gotta watch half way up. Oh, you haven't seen half way up? Well, I've seen it twice already. Okay, well, I'm not even seeing it. Okay, so What is your favorite thing that you've done on your trip? Oh, that's tough. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Jason's chef was a nice surprise Jason. yesterday. That was a nice surprise. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I did get striped Tron four times. That's all. Got to hang out with Ron a little bit. Ron's a good time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, today's my last day, unfortunately. So, so when do you move down? I, uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Guys, this is Kevin Cotto. You've probably seen him in a chat already before. He is on his last day of vacation today. He's going to go catch Happily Ever After and probably not stand in the sun for anything. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Question. If I try to do Happily Ever After, do you think I can make it for a fantastic second show? Is there a fantastic second show? I think so. If you are in the back towards Town Square, and as soon as that last... Like, you turn around and pull straight for the uh, buses, you might be able to make it. Uh, what time does the park close tonight? Does it close at 10? It's 10. Or and then the last showing of Fantasmics at 10.30? It should be 10.30. I think they're doing double show. If you get there just slightly after 10, just explain to them you're just trying to get there to yes, Fantasmics. Yes. So you might be able to make that. Well, I think, yeah. yeah. I think you can do that. You got this. Yeah. Let us know. Let yeah. us know if you yeah. made it later. Let's see. 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 let us see let us Still really Oops, uh, here we go. Oh, and uh, Chris yep. passed by and said hi earlier. Chris did pass by. He is, okay. Uh, Alright, let's open up the brawly here. There you go. Okay, let's figure out where the sun is coming from. Sort of. That direction. Oh, that's so much better. Amazing. Oh, sorry. There you go. I was like, wait, let me cover you. Christy Jane. 
<laughs> Chrissy Jane says, well done. Thank you, Chrissy Jane. I am working on it. I think losing my Broly twice on Rise of Resistance has truly helped me say Broly. It's, she is a young Brit in training, Chrissy Jane. <laughs> I'm trying not to block your face, but also trying to hold the umbrella. Steady. There we go. Gosh, this sun is, it's a warm, it's a warm one. In the yeah. shade, it feels great. And yeah, Hannah Anderson, we're, we're going to try to uh, put this on at our backs for this next uh, set. Okay. It was kind of cool, the effect we had. It was very footloose feeling. And we got to see him every now and then. Yeah. Chris the Maker's like, take two. Take two. For sure. So it shouldn't be too much longer before they start letting people in. We're looking at about five to ten minutes before we're, uh, we let back in the stadium. Hopefully. Or the, uh, the Garden St uh, American Garden Theater. We got it. So, yeah. looking forward to that, guys. Have a great night, Christy Jane. Get lots of sleep. Thank you so much for being here. Good night, Christy Jane and Michael. Hope you guys get lots of rest. It was a great show, uh, Chris. Absolutely. So Chris is like, take two. That's, yeah. That's a proper day night. And we have to, like, set three is kind of like... It's often our, the best. In our opinion, it's kind of the... Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was doing. Yeah. Right. Ooh, he had some refreshing drinks. So I was like, he did. Mm, that was like good. Did you want a coffee or anything? It's right there. I know, I'm thinking about it. Thoughts, I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> hey, Gerard. Hey, Gerard. Andrew wants to know, how much was it to watch for Springfield? It's the um, cost of admission into Epcot. Because yep. it's part of the Festival of Flower and Garden. Um, if you want the dining plan, then of course you have to pay extra. Right. <laughs> hey, Chief Jimbo. Hey, Chief Jimbo. From sunny Arizona. Hello, Hello from, from sunny Florida. Sunny Florida. <laughs> Also nice Leo says, hey Monica and Eric, thank you for streaming these past two, perform past two performances the past two days, of course. Thank you for being here, Leo. Yeah, one of the things that we love doing is the concerts here at Epcot. Yeah. It's, uh, as Ron on the go would say, free to do for uh, pass holders. And for uh, if you have a ticket and you have a park reservation, it's free for you as well. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Oh, a little chihuahua. Is that your chihuahua, Rick? He has a little chihuahua, is he? Oh, that's awesome. With a little sombrero. That's hilarious. And Leo Clark Gun says, Marty, I've been looking for you. We'll see you inside, Chris. Are they letting yes, us in already? We'll see you inside, Chris. No, no. Okay. Are they moving us in? Not yet. Oh, no, because they haven't even started moving in the dining plan yet. Right. Yeah, they still have to clear out the, the arena a little bit there. Ooh, the sun is hot. Let's put that right back there. Thank you. It's warm. Let's see. It's the Eric and Monica concert series. Featuring. If we had contacts like Rick Springfield, we'd be doing pretty good. Right? That's a pretty good contact, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who's next? More Rick Springfield, of course. Yeah, it'll be Rick Springfield's uh, last set of the day, 8 p.m. So it should be the best one of the day as well. Uh, the lighting will be as good as it'll get. The uh, smoke effects will be as good as they'll get. And he and the band will play their hearts out because it's the last one of the night. So generally, guys, if you want to make it to one of the concerts, the best one to make, no, you're good. The best one to make it to is 8 p.m. Because again, that is the one that uh, it's the last one for the day. Usually, it's really crowded as well. The line, not, not today. <laughs> the line right now is still in Italy, so that's a good sign. I guess so. Let's see. It is only 7.22 though. That is true. Hey, Mr. Trotter. Hey, Mr. Trotter. I was trying to see how long the line is for uh, draft wreath over there, and it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yes, Marty, and third set is oh, it's usually the best. Yep. We can also grab a coffee right after the third set if you like. Yeah. Just to be safe. Yeah, I don't want to... The third set, I want it to get crazy, and then they're like, no more people getting in line, or right. something like that, you know? Of course, Kyle. Oh, it sounded great. Great to know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, were there any issues with signal or anything, guys? Because it looked like we dipped down a little bit. Might have been a little choppy here and there, but otherwise, it seemed to have held pretty well, which we were pretty surprised by. T-Town Mary Ellen, great to see you. Hey, T-Town Mary Ellen. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Yes, Chris B, he's playing tomorrow as well. It will be uh, Rick Springfield here at Epcot tomorrow. We're not sure if we're streaming tomorrow, though, or not. So we'll, we'll hold out and have to see. Yeah, we're not sure yet about that. But we will certainly be back on Tuesday. Let's 
see here. Rick says, yeah, really good concert. Crispy says, yeah, a little blip. Okay, but not too bad, which is good. Yeah, Kyle says very, very slight lags, but wasn't that bad. Good, because okay. we're competing with a lot of cell phones. There so many cell phones. so many people trying to stream the, the concert, trying to... Trying to FaceTime face back time. home, be like, hey guys, I'm at the Rick Field, Rick Springfield concert. TikTok, Instagram, there's so many signals going out right now. Yeah. So it's it's not surprising at all that we can't uh, keep a perfect signal the whole time, but it's really impressive that we were able to keep it anyway. Yes. Charlie Orlando says, overall signal was good with a few minor hiccups here and there. Okay. I don't even think it's all... Crispy says the sun is the major issue. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so many bugs. Can't even but oh, we'll see how it goes this time. <laughs> we came one time and we couldn't get any yeah. I mean, but like you said, the sun made for like a neat effect. It was a neat effect. We'll and definitely then, uh, yeah. try the other side of the stadium though this time. I think we're more like the middle, right? If we can get closer to the stage up front, we'll do that. But uh, where we are in line, I'm thinking that uh, I'm thinking we'll be better off uh, on the left side. I'm thinking we'll be doing all right here. Put the microphone to let that uh, lady pass through. Gotcha. I wonder what time they're going to supposedly cut off the line. Well, it's 7.25 right now. We've still got uh, 35 minutes there. Let's see. Crispy's like, it was a cool effect. You are right. It just, uh, we weren't able to show Rick is the only issue. Yeah. I mean, we should have here and there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can back it up so we can take a look at that. There you go. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, this is what we were looking at. It's not bad. Oh my goodness. I don't think they're being as strict as they were with the line earlier. I don't think so, because I think the line has come down a little bit. Oh, maybe. Theo, this is... Uh, Thank you so much, Theo. Uh, Theo left us a uh, PayPal and said, uh, love in the park hoppers. Well, Sent us a $20 PayPal. Thank you so much, Theo. Thank you, Theo. We really we appreciate really, that. that. That means a lot to us. Thank you so much, Theo. Super appreciate that. Shadow Rick made it more mysterious. That's also true. It was very 80s. I was just like, wait, hey, what is she doing? What is she doing? I know, I'm like, what, why are you so nosy? Why are you so nosy? I'm like, what is she doing? I'm curious. I'm putting a comment in chat saying thank you to Theo. In I know, case, you did great. That's in case right. Theo is not listening, I wanted to put it in chat to make sure it was there. That's right. Oh, Marty, and thank you so much for the hearts for Theo in the chat. We really appreciate that, guys. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. And thank you again, Theo. We are about to go inside, hopefully. I'm still not don't seeing... know about that because I don't see any dining plans. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So, thank you, Christy Jane. Thank you, Marty, and for the hearts for Theo. Thank you, guys. It Super appreciate the support, guys. Very sunny out here. Marty M says we're at 222 likes. Thank you so much, Marty M. Thank you, guys, for all the likes. We appreciate that as well. Tell you what, if we weren't in line for the concert, that gelato line looks a little bit more appealing. The gelato line is pretty long, actually. It's, the, it's hot. People the are looking for The line is pretty long, too. Is it? Yeah. Because there's a lot of really good slushes there. There are. Which help with the sun and the heat. George wants to know, will you guys be seeing Ron tonight? Oh, we saw him earlier. We did see him earlier. Yeah. When he was uh, doing his Epcot portion. Yep. The sun's setting, so it's like, oh, uh, trying to get there was coverage here. Maybe if you step uh, one step to the left, so that way I can put it down more. Yeah. I think that's better. Right? I think so. Are you getting covered? Yeah. Good. It's a little better like that. Now we just need a fan attached to the brawly and we're set. <laughs> Not sure how that would work. Hey Margaret. Hey Margaret. Happy Sunday guys. Happy Memorial Weekend as well. Oh yeah. I'm gonna close out my um I don't know. I 
YouTube was being weird and glitchy, so closing it out and reopening it. Aaron Disney Fan for Life says, Don't forget June 2nd through the 5th are the plain white seeds. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That is true. Cal Risco says, Park Hoppers meeting Ron was like two Disney ships meeting each other, same vibes. <laughs> Cruise ships? We do get along pretty well, uh, Ron and uh, Park Hoppers. But are they like cruise ships or like regular ships? Or party boats. I want to be a cruise ship. I want to be a Disney cruise ship. You want to be a Disney cruise ship? Are we uh, the dream or the wish or the... I almost said the phantasmic. Fantasy? The fantasy? Oh no, Chrissy Jane. Sorry about that. Yeah, YouTube's a little glitchy. Um, speaking of that, uh, make sure your live button is red mm -hmm. and your settings are set to 1080p. We are streaming on 1080p. Yep. Oh, uh, Shannon says, ugh. Tana just got Ta home from... Tana? I think so. Tana just got home yes. from a road trip, walked in and gave me a honey-do list. It's 7.30 or now, woman. But I love it. That's awesome, Shannon. Sure, it says we should go to Bucky's with Ron. That sounds Maybe. delicious, actually. Bucky sounds so good right now, like a, a slushy and a and a brisket sandwich. Ooh, yeah. So good. <laughs> Christy Jane says, "Hi, Shannon. It's because she cares." Yeah, I agree with that. Eric's like, I don't get too many lists. And then oh no, I get every list. I just don't get them physically. I'm expected to remember them. And I don't, so I get in trouble. Maybe. That's possible. Hey, Jesse! Jesse, Jesse Minetti says, awesome streaming, guys. We love it. Thank you so much, Jesse. Yeah, the second set of Rick Spoonfield was pretty awesome. Looking forward to his third and final set of the day, everybody. Yeah. This should be pretty good. It should be. Pretty soon. I'm gonna take a peek. Are you ready? Yep, ready for let's the peek. The tacos? Let's do it. Nope, we're not moving yet. But it is oh, dining yes. plan is. Dining so plan is. Dining, package. dining The dining package folks are moving into the theater. So we should be moving in in about two or three minutes. Hopefully. Sharon says, Chris, you're doing yes, she cares because she cares about me getting stuff done. But thank you. That's what husbands do, right? Get stuff done. Is that what we do? Rick says, hopefully a lightsaber duel in the Disney parking lot with Ron coming soon. Yeah, we, did, we already do that. No, we did lightsaber jousting. There's a difference between a lightsaber duel and lightsaber jousting okay. on a Razor scooter. I don't approve of that. You don't approve of that? No. Sounds dangerous. Italy looks beautiful back there. Yeah, it really does look really nice. The sun's like you can see how bright and how intense the sun is on the building on the buildings back there in Italy. I think we're getting ready to move. Right? Are we getting ready to I move? I think we need to put the umbrella on. Okay, let's check this out. No, I don't see any movement. Well, I'm just I saying the people around us are moving. Oh yeah. yeah. I think just folks looking for like their people. Yep, trying to make sure everybody has everything together. Yeah. I'm going to close up the rally. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Can you hold my phone? You got it. Hold the phone. Are we moving? Uh, about to. I think that gentleman is just looking for his uh, family or friends. Oh, gotcha. Environment. Oh, did, oh, no. Somebody collapsed. Again? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Right. So he ran over to go help with that. Oh, that was very kind of that. That was very kind of that. Let's see if we can fly down the path from there. Let's see what it is. There should be one. Where, where are they? Up right there she comes. Okay, cast members on the way. Alright, she's getting over to him. Oh no. That one looks like a bad spill. Yeah. Cast members. The heat is very, very strong. It's very important to be safe. My husband's got her. Stay hydrated, guys. Stay hydrated and take care of yourself. There should be other cast members coming. Right now there's only one. No, there's two there. Is there? Yeah. Okay, here comes security as well. Okay, security is there now. Security's yeah, here. the team lead is calling it in. Okay. She's she's on her feet, guys, and yeah. she's moving, so she's okay. Yeah. But uh, I she, think I think the heat just uh, was very strong. The heat is very strong. Impacted her. 
and she's been in line for a while because she's up uh, further off. But yeah, thankfully there was a guest in line that uh, got there swiftly and helped her immediately. So yeah. thank goodness for other uh, guests in the park, really. Looks like they're transferring her to a scooter. No, okay. They're just trying they're, to they're help getting, her. They're getting her wheelchair open. Oh, okay, good. Oh, he came over because the the family wasn't big enough or strong enough to carry her. But he was, so he, he helped her into the chair. Oh, Shannon says, Godspeed and love to all. Gotta get some stuff done for tomorrow. Thank you. These are gracious hosts. Every, uh, everyone be good to one another. Smile, it's contagious. See you soon. Thank you so much, Shannon. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Shannon. Have a great night. Hey, Maria. Hi, Maria. All right, the line is moving in currently. Cast members who are asking everybody to go around. Yeah, just like they did um, at the la with the last line. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, everything's so. okay. Alright, guys, let's turn it back around so you can see what we see as we make our way into the American Gardens Theater. Let's turn it on. <laughs> oh, the AED is here. The yeah, artificial uh, AED. External defibrillator. Yes, they did. You guys aren't all yours, are you? No, no. No, we're park office. A bit smaller. The way he was. Uh, it was like watching an eagle when I was season one, and he's just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get over there. It's Chris to Disney Baker, guys. <laughs> Thank you. in this for her and her husband because like he immediately saw the signs and yeah, he sprung immediately into sprung into action and took care of the situation. Yeah, he's still checking her, making sure she's okay. Looks Good like luck it. with that. <laughs> and then cut us back in. Good job. How to get behind him? I've seen their stuff before. They're pretty good. <laughs> no, you're good. We're all going to the same place. Why is he so far away? They're good. I've seen their review. Were you guys here for the second set? Yeah, first uh, and set. second. We first and first. second. Nice. This is our bucket list. Oh, there That's you go. That's awesome. The only reason we're here today. Epcot's really great for things like this. Yes. It's the same price we can go for three days. Exactly. Can she verify? Oh, the fun spot. Yep. Uh, head to the left and we'll find something that direction a little bit closer to the front.
I don't think so. Back here oh, or we in the yeah. way? Right. <laughs> here? What do you think? Uh, yeah. Is it right here? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Alright. So, guys, we're going to do it from uh, over here this time. Oh. oh, you're good. I'll do my best to. You're just, fine. I'll get the back of your head right now. Nice thing about this right here is I'll just set it on the on the chair and I'll raise it up. We're good. So hey everybody, we got seats again. All right. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't see any though. Nope. Let's go right here. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much, Theo San Diego. We don't even know we hit the milestone. <laughs> Apparently, we're past 500,000 views. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank right? you, Theo San Diego, for that update. Appreciate it. Uh, this is Rick Springfield, guys, here at Garden Rocks at Epcot for the Flower and Garden Festival. Well, thank you so much, Mario. Exposure a little bit, so it's a little bit clearer there. concert for the time being. We hope you enjoy the uh, kind of intermission music here. Hey guys. Hey, it's good to see you all. Thank you so much for being here. This is the third and final set of Rick Springfield for the day. Uh, it should start in 17 minutes. Looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. I'm glad they let everybody in there ready. So everybody can get like situated because these uh, sets have been quite crowded. They have been. Let's see how it goes, guys. But at least this time, um, with the angle we got, it's going to be pretty good to see him and the band. I think so. I think it's going to be real neat. 
So guys, with all that being said, we are the Park Hoppers from Monaco, New York. We go live for the parks all the time now. Gearing up for this last set of the concert. And then, uh, yeah, after that, you want to do uh, the fireworks? Get some coffee and do the fireworks? Yeah, we can do that. I mean, at that point, it'll be, by the time we get around to the fun, it'll be time for our fireworks to go out, so. That's fair. In all honesty, it's not my favorite. Um, but you know, it is a really nice fireworks show that Disney puts on. That is true. Um, I'd rather have Harmonious, uh, yeah. minus the top. I, I do like the taco barges and the Stargate being gone, because now you can see all through like uh, the World Showcase, which is really nice. That's true. But I, I think they could have still kept Harmonious without the barges. And I think that would have still been better than a Epcot Forever. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't. But Epcot Forever is not forever, it's only temporary. That's true. Uh, they should be bringing in a new show again, hopefully later on this year. And we'll see uh, We'll see how it goes. Yeah. GG, Epcot, love it, yes. We love Epcot as well. How says do they still have the floating globe? Oh, so that was... Yes, that was, for, <laughs> that was for Illumination. I wish they brought back Illumination. That would have been way, way better than Epcot Forever in my opinion. But, yeah. you know. Disney fireworks are still beautiful regardless, so that's nice. It's, it's nice to enjoy it. Um, They've got all the stagehands out already, quite a bit early tonight, so maybe yeah, they'll start early. They're tuning all the instruments and everything. I don't think they're expecting like bad weather or anything, because the skies look pretty clear. Yeah, looks like a beautiful day. Well, well maybe that way there's, there's a little bit of cloudiness. A little bit. Because the only reason I was thinking, oh, maybe they're going to start early is the weather reasons, but I think they're okay. There sure is a lot of security for this concert with uh, Rick Springfield. There is. I guess maybe because of the massive crowd levels. But uh, yeah, the guest that uh, had the um, incident is uh, being well taken care of. Uh, so that's very nice. That's crazy though that there was an incident in the line this time and uh, last time as well. Oh, that's awesome. I think the, uh, I could be wrong, but I think I just saw the first responder who came to raid. I think they just uh, helped them up in the VIP section. Oh, that's they really did? Cool. That's awesome. That's really good. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they do that at least for them, like the guests behind us. Yeah, the husband was the first, uh, is the first responder, so he took action and immediately went to that guest aid, and, like, if it wasn't for him being there, I don't know what would have happened, honestly. But yeah, thankfully they did give him VIP seats, hopefully more than that. Oh. I hope so. Hey, Shempy, great to see ya. Hey, Shempy. Hi, guys, so, with all that being said, uh, we're the Park Hoppers. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, we'd really appreciate it. With all that being said, we're going to turn it around here in just a second because it looks like they're gearing up for the concert already. Yeah, and, it might uh, be. Yeah, well, we just want to be ready for it, guys. Alright, so. let's turn it around let's and show it. the concert stage. Hey, Thank you, guys. Hey, hey Eric, exciting excursions. And if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Absolutely. It really helps us out a lot. Thank you, guys. Jeff Condon says good night, guys. Barbecue time. That sounds awesome, Jeff Condon. Enjoy, Jeff Condon. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great night. I'm gonna try to plug and unplug that again. Would you mind? Hold this. Thank you so much. Let's see. All right. All right, good. Thank you. Yeah, there's uh, the smoke and stuff oh. on stage is already happening. Still not supported. How weird. Do you want to um, remove? <laughs> Jesse, not sure if we'll catch any rides after this. Uh, main reason being that the park closes very quickly after. But uh, we'll definitely take a look and see. Wow, the stage looks really cool right now with all the smoke and the lights that they're getting all prepped. Oh yeah.
Welcome to the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. In just 10 minutes, the America Gardens Theater will proudly present the Garden Rocks Concert Series featuring Rick Springfield. This legendary musician is famous for unforgettable hits like Jessie's Girl. So grab a seat and get ready to rock out in just 10 minutes. Under Armour. I bet oh. you all wanted to know that. Oh my goodness. That's awesome, Christy Jane. Thank you so much for that information. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Nathan. Good to see you. Hey, Nathan. That's hilarious, Christy Jane. That, that, yeah. You see why, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Let's pop you guys up just a little bit so we have less of that sponsorship going on. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Advertising by a park office. Not worried about advertising for them or anything. We live Under Armour too, but uh, yeah, we like for you guys to actually have a decent view of things. Little G wants to know: Will you be coming to any of the other Garden Rocks concerts in the future? Absolutely. We um, we frequent the concerts here at Epcot a lot, guys. Yeah, we frequent the concerts here at Epcot a lot. Chris to Disney Baker says got pulled to the front when we came in seven rows to each left. Oh, that's fantastic, Chris. That's awesome. We hope you guys enjoy your concert. So maybe like one of those rows over there? Yeah, they should be right over there on the left side. Oh, that's awesome. Right. Enjoy the concert, guys. Should be a good view over there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Buff and Bree says, Hi Hoppers, have you quizzed your stream on which soap opera Rick Springfield used to be on? Um, I think it was mentioned previously, but if anybody wants to uh, put guesses in the chat of what soap opera you think Rick Springfield was in, that would be fun. Hey Cherie. Cherie Rosero says, great job guys with the first show. Looking forward to the next show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cherie. Hey Josh R. Hey Josh. Hey Poppin' 3. Frisbee's like, I already had that combo. But for anybody coming in now, oh, well, Jerry we already knew. General Hospital, yes, guys. Tonight's Garden Rocks concert series featuring the one and only Rick Springfield. Get ready to drop out as this legendary musician performs some of their great hits just for you. The concert will begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. That is totally still far coughing, Josh R. And we're glad you had a good day. Coincidentally, is his name? What do you mean? That's uh, the, the actual name of. No, that's his, that's his name in the show. You mean that's not his real name? What? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Wait, this is Rick Springfield? Yeah, Rick, Rick Springfield. You mean it's not Bruce Springfield? No. Like he said in that song that he's not Bruce? Oh, because he, he's not Bruce. Right. Right. No, I don't know. Rick Springfield, guys. Rick Springfield. Yep, we're here to see the third and final set of Rick Springfield. Yeah, this will be his last set, guys. Hopefully, his best set. Chrissy Jane says, it's like shopping ba It's like shopping for bags again. <laughs> oh, no. With the Dooney and Burke bags? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I gave him a, a, a look. Thank you. All right. Two minutes, everybody. Here we go. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, the blue dress? Yeah. If it's not his wife, it's uh, one of the band members' wives. Yeah, it's, it's one of the wives of the band members. Marty Hip says, when does Springsteen come to Epcot? Um, I don't know about that one. With a very VIP tour, it says Kirstie Jane, absolutely. I mean, he was just recently in Orlando not too long ago. Yeah, but he, he does a concert with you. you know? Oh, yeah. Hey, Lori. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy as well. Thank you, Lori.
Music fans, welcome to the America Gardens Theater for tonight's Garden Rocks concert series. Now put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Rick Springfield.
Disney World, that's all that comes out. <laughs> all right, so uh, check it out. song called The Voodoo House. And I need your help on this, all right? Because there's a chorus, and you got to sing it. It's very easy. It goes like this.
shows this short.
Should we just get a spot for Epcot forever? Yeah, we can just go get a spot. Okay. But where? You want to go around uh, towards the front of the park? Okay. Towards the front of the uh, World Showcase? All right. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Hi.
Well, we hope you guys enjoyed Rick Springfield live in concert there. We're still going to be enjoying Epcot forever tonight, guys. It's been a while since we've seen it. We've uh, seen it, what, once or twice now? So it'll be interesting to see it again. All right, let's make sure that we're not so dark anymore. There we go. Much better. <laughs> hey, extraterrestrial visitor. Good to see you again. Of course, BMCK. We're happy to stream. We're glad we were able to bring you guys along. Hey, Matthew. We have to. Hey, Matthew. Cherie uh, sent us a super chat uh, oh. 4 dollars says, thank you so much for an amazing concert. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. Thank you guys for being here. And thank you, Cherie. Thank you so much, Cherie. Yeah, we're happy to bring you guys along to any of the concerts here at Epcot. We really do love uh, just all of the concert series here at Epcot. It's one of the things that we really enjoy doing. Uh, it's it's truly just a, a pleasure to be able to bring you guys along. Yeah, and like that last set was just spectacular. Oh, yeah. It was so good. Extraterrestrial visitor says, My wife and I had our first date seeing Rick Springfield. Human, tor human touch tour. That's amazing. So he says, so yeah, I didn't want to miss it. That makes sense to me, extraterrestrial visitor. All right, guys, we're going to snap into position here. Boop. All right, cool. Didn't have to move much. Oh, so yes, thank you again, Cherie. We really appreciate that. All right, guys, we're really glad that you enjoyed the concert. Let's find a spot for Epcot forever. Theo. Theo San Miguel says, a fire show for sure. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was so, like, that last set, he had so much energy, like, so much fire. So good. Is that the new show on Spaceship Birth right now? I think it might be. Do you want to go get a spot over there and see if you the Japan? Yeah, let's do it. Hi. I'm just like, there's so much color all of a sudden on Spaceship Earth. Right here? Yeah. Gotcha. Let me turn down the brightness a little bit and zoom in some more. Yeah, Theo Samigo, when he went into the crowd, that was so cool. That was. It's really pretty. doing anything more or was that it? Was what? I think that might have been the end of that show. You think so? Yes, Matt Simba too. There's yet another new show for the 100th anniversary. Kyle Riscoe says the stream was perfect and the view was awesome. Thanks for streaming on it. That's awesome, Kyle. We're really glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, Marty, and we think it's the Disney 100 show. Matthew Hildebrand. $5 for Matthew Hildebrand saying that was a great show. Thanks for bringing us along. Well, thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much, Matthew. We sincerely appreciate that, Matthew. Yeah, I think this is just the usual uh, coloration of uh, Spaceship Earth at this hour. All right, let's zoom back out. It's very pretty, though. All right, let me see if I can get that back in the backpack then while we're at it. Let's also plug in the gimbal. Hold on, everybody. Okay, so we're getting ready for Epcot Forever. Hey, Matt Simba 2, it's good to see you. Hey, Matt Simba 2. Shift manager wants to know, do we have any idea when the new fireworks show will debut? We have not heard any word of it yet, but uh, we're very much um, looking forward to it. Yeah. 
Can I have you take yeah. this moment, honey? And I will take that and put it away. Thank All you. All right, we'll switch. Sounds so, good. Yeah. Yeah, the barges being um, no longer there is really nice to see a Cross World Showcase again, for sure. It is. What a spectacular view from right here in the Japanese pavilion, though. Like, it's really, really pretty. It is. But thank you guys so much again for enjoying the Rick Springfield concert with us. It was so good. It was. I'm glad we came out and enjoyed it with everybody. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Scott, I have a dream. Hey, Jennifer and hey, Scott. <laughs> oh, no, extraterrestrial visitors. That's the only problem is the Stargate was my way home. I oh, guess no. You hang out a while longer, extraterrestrial visitors. Hang out a little bit more at Disney now. All right. You want to head towards the sunset a little bit? Oh, the shift manager says, I did hear a rumor that drones are involved with the new show. Oh, really? That'd be pretty cool. My only concern with the drones is making sure that the weather is good enough to keep them going. The Oasis here in Morocco. Yeah, it's like a minty slushy. I love it. Yeah. Forza says, love the music in the Morocco Pavilion. Yeah, it's really pretty. Marty M says, one good thing about this show is that most spots around the lagoon are good. That is very true, Marty M. You can watch it from pretty much anywhere and enjoy the view. It is a very good point. I know, I'm seeing all these people on the benches and I'm like, that's brilliant! Here in France. Oh yeah. The 
rosés, all that. All those fun things. The Cur Royale. Yeah. You want to try? Oh, no, because then we have the islands over there, right? The islands would get in our way over here? I don't know. Will it? I you think want to check so. Out what this, what the vantage yeah, let's is take a look. There? Both the lamp and the uh, islands would be in the way of the fireworks show. What do you think? Maybe not. Let's keep looking. We'll find a good spot. smelling the fish and chips from here. I think it is the fish and chips. Doesn't it smell good? Over at the uh, UK Pavilion. Oh yeah. Forza says, hey Monica, hope you and Eric are having a nice evening there. The weather has been great going into the evening. It has been. Thank you so much, Forza. Yeah, ever, ever since the sun set, oh, it's been so nice. It has been. Yeah, we're over here on the bridge right now. It's pretty busy though. Oh yeah, the Japanese drums, right. The only bad thing about the spot here in the bridge by France is that they don't dim the lanterns. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, yeah, that's right. Yep. Forza it says it's about 75 degrees over here, slight breeze occasionally, it's perfect. That's awesome, enjoy that is awesome. the good weather. I mean, I don't know. I think we keep moving. Keep moving? Yeah. Yeah, because we saw them from this uh, vantage point last time we were here. Exactly, we like to change up the vantage point that we see the fireworks from all the time. We like to see what's new and what's a different uh, way of viewing it so that we can, by the end of any particular show, be like, you know what, that's our favorite spot, that's our favorite spot, that's a good spot, that's not a good spot, and here's why, you know? Oh my goodness, the fish and chips smell amazing, guys. Oh, wow. Do you want some fish and chips? I never wanted fish and chips more than right now. I'll tell you that. We can get them no, on. no, no, we're good. Let's, let's focus on getting a good spot for the uh, for the fireworks show. Oh no, I'm okay, guys. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll just a good spot for the fireworks is more important. I can find a spot, and you can rejoin me. I have the hardest time finding you again. That's fair. Especially when it's busy like this. <laughs> Theo Samuel is like, you do get different fruits and veggies depending on where you're uh, standing. <laughs> A bass ale is that the one to get BMCK? A, A bass ale? Forever will take to the sky in just 15 minutes. Thank you. Oh, BMC. 
CK is it located in the Rising Crown Pub? But well, we love the Rising Crown Pub. Oh, it's outside. Really? Oh, like right before the, the restaurant entrance. Oh, gotcha. They have harp and bass. We've heard of harp before. It's good to know that bass ale is the one to go for, though. Yeah. When we, I was just going to say, when we do go, uh, we'll definitely have to try that. <laughs> the MCK is like almost to Canada. Get a Wilson. <laughs> hey, Thomas. Good to see you. Hey, Thomas. In Canada, the thing to get is the uh, Molson. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thomas. So kind. Oh my goodness. Um. So a trowel and trellis. The I don't know. That smells the, amazing too. Really? I was thinking it smells funky. Oh. Well, Eric might like the food there, but uh. It doesn't smell so good to me. Oh yes, Thomas, the maple popcorn in Canada is been it's on our list. It really is. Yep. Did you read Matt Simbati's comment? I did not. Matt says aren't the harp and bass music? Well, the bass and the harp, yeah. yeah? Okay, fair enough, Matt. <laughs> fair enough. But yeah, one of these days we're for sure gonna try that maple popcorn. It always smells really good when we pass it. It does. Oh, wow. How about this? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna it's try a very to... busy day. It is. You wanna try to find a spot up here? I mean, all these are technically spots as well. That's true. As long as we're within the white tape. Because no, no, no. this is the walkway. Yeah. Oh, so you just gotta be on like this side. Right. This must be the spot. Let's see. Everyone's currently seated also. When they all stand up, we'll be able to find more room in the middle if you'd rather. Or right here works really well. I think right here is fine. Thank you, Chef Manager. Do lots of rest. <laughs> BMCK says, one time I thought I had a great spot. I was behind the tree. No. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Epcot World Travelers. The Epcot family is proud to welcome you to World Showcase Lagoon. And in just 10 minutes, the sky will sparkle with color and light. Proudly presents Epcot Forever, our amazing fireworks spectacular. Because of lower light levels during the show, please walk your step. And kids, take your parents' I spot. I don't. I think it's like Get right ready, behind those because people. Because tonight's performance uh, at Epcot Forever will begin in just I'm ten minutes. Thank you. I get you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 
Do you want me to go down there and go take a look? I think here's a good spot just because we have a uh, good elevation. We do have good elevation up here. Plus, this will be easier to uh, evac the area afterwards. Because it's, it's sometimes difficult to move quickly. Yeah, BMCK, every country has a good beer or two. It'd be really neat to uh, to explore them all one day. Well, not all in one day. No, 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 no. I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. Not, not all in one day. <laughs> like, eventually, throughout many, many days. Absolutely. Regina says, it was great meeting you both. Thank you. Thank no, you. No, thank you, Regina. like about six minutes until Epcot forever, everybody. everybody please make sure that your live icon is red and your settings are set to 1080p if not refreshing a lot of times we'll fix the issue so you guys are on the highest uh, resolution possible and you're back live with us also guys while we're at it uh, let's go ahead and turn it around hi guys we are the park hoppers for Eric and Monica we go live from the parks all the time now let's do this so the phone's between us here Little bit more. Little bit more. Okay. Hey Ramon, good to see you. Greetings, Epcot World Travelers. Five Epcot minutes, welcomes you, and we invite you to enjoy Epcot Forever, a spectacular celebration of everything Epcot. In just a few minutes, the World Showcase Lagoon will burst with color and light as we journey through Epcot's past so we and leap right? into its exciting yeah. future. Because of lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step. And kids, take your parents by the hand. Tonight's performance of Epcot Forever will begin shortly. Thank you. My parents aren't I, close enough to take them by the hand. I don't know about that. Are going to be parents take your children by the hand? I would hope so. Right? Hey, Kathy P. Hey, Kathy P. I'm like, 
like, I guess I never paid attention to that message. I'm like, right? no, I disagree strongly with that. <laughs> So guys, if you're new here, we're the Park Hoppers, we're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. Uh, we would really appreciate it, guys, if you'd please consider subscribing. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't done it yet, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. You ready to turn it back around and show the World Showcase? Yeah, the show's going to start in like four minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to And while we're at it, guys, Thank you so much for helping us reach 4,462 subscribers, everyone. That's amazing. We are so close to 4,500. We sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. And let's keep bringing you back to Disney. I don't know if this one moves or not. Oh no? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, does it move? <laughs> 10 likes to 300. Also guys, if you haven't liked the stream yet, please do so. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you guys. Hey Andy, good to see you. Hey Andy, thank you so much. Hope your day has gotten much better. Oh yeah. All right. guys the two of you subscribed we really appreciate it thank you guys so much all right we have less than one minute before epcot forever everybody hey jc jc you're here just in time everybody enjoy epcot forever Enjoy Epcot forever.
E-P-C-O-P.
so loud. <laughs> So guys, that was Epcot Forever. Thank you so much for spending your day with us or evening. We really appreciate that. We hope you enjoyed the concerts with Rick Springfield. We hope you enjoyed Epcot Forever. Uh, if you guys are interested in Fantasmic, Ron on the Go is currently streaming that over in Hollywood Studios. So at the close of this uh, live stream, you guys uh, can enjoy the rest of Fantasmic. So thank you again so much, everybody, for being here. Thank you to all of our chatters. Right yes. Um, maybe we move over there. Let's do it. Before I get clapped. Over there. Gotcha. I'm like I dodged. Okay. I dodged two people that like literally are about to run into me. So I'm like, let's, let's just relocate real quick. <laughs> so guys. Have a great night. Thank you so much to all of our chatters. Thank you so much to all of our ninja watchers. All subscribers, new or old, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who hit that like button today. And thank you so much to our Patreon members. Uh, thank you for the, uh, we got a PayPal today. Thank you for the super chats, the super stickers. Guys, thank you so much for all of your ongoing and just amazing support. We really appreciate each and every one of you. And we hope you enjoy the rest of Fantasmic. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Have a great evening. We're going to go ahead and turn the stream over to Ron on the Go, who is uh, currently streaming Fantasmic. So if you guys want to enjoy that, that's enjoy. an option. All right. Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much. Have a good night.